Hi everyone and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In the last two episodes we've been working on the player inventory and now it's time to add the items we pick up to the inventory model and update the inventory view correctly. And now let's get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is add items to the player inventory when they are being picked up. But before we do this, please remember that this is just one solution. If you've done this in a different way, then your solution could be just as good. What solution is the most correct will depend on the project. It's also normal to rewrite code multiple times during a project. So if you start with the solution in this episode and then feel you need to change it later on, then this is also completely fine and normal. So let's go to our inventory script and add a new function called insert. And make it take an inventory item as input. For now, let's just add a pass. Then in the collectible script, let's add an exported variable to hold the inventory item resource it should be connected to. In each collectible scene, both the life part and the sword, we then click and drag the correct resource to the item rest property of the root node. Now let's go back to the collectible script and add an inventory as input to the collect function. And then call the insert function on the inventory here with the item rest as input. The sort has its own script that inherits from collectible. So we need to change the input for the collect function here as well and forward the inventory to the super call. Finally, we need to go to our player script and in the unheard box area entered function, we add the player's inventory to the collect call. To test that all this works, we go back to the inventory script and add a breakpoint to the line with the pass call by clicking here on the left. When we run the game, it will then stop when we pick up an item and we can check that the inserted item is what we expect it to be. Click on the stop button on the top right to stop the test and click on the red dot to remove the breakpoint again. Okay, let's work on the inventory's insert function now. At first, we just want to add items without stacking them. We do this by using a for in range loop to go over every index in the items array. For each index, we check if there is not an item and if this is the case, we insert our item. We also break out of the loop after inserting, so we don't end up inserting more than once. Before we test how this works, we need to set the size of the items array. We could do this from the script, but doing it from the saved player inventory resource makes it easier to test different cases. So let's open the player inventory resource and set the size of the array to 15 and make sure that all the slots are empty. To test that this works, we add a breakpoint at the line with the break call. Now we can play the game and check that the items array is updating as expected. Now we need to update the inventory GUI. So let's add a signal called updated to our inventory and emit it at the end of the insert function. 
Then we go to the inventory GUI script and in the ready function, we then connect the inventory's updated signal to the GUI's update function. And now, let's test and see what happens. So far, everything works as expected. But we also want to make sure that everything works if there's something in the inventory from the beginning. So let's open the player inventory resource, add a few life parts and sorts, and test everything again. And it works! Now, when our player picks up items, they are added to the player inventory and correctly shown in the inventory GUI. And this is where this episode ends. Next time, we will make the items stack and in the episodes after that, I promise you we'll look at combat. I hope you found this video helpful. Bye!